you're always shopping you're always at target well look hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is nyla and today we are gonna basically just get right into it i don't want this video to be too long and i have a tendency to over talk <laughs> Today we are going to be talking about some empties. These are some products that I have completely finished up. I used all the way to the end. Um, and I started this bag. Let me show you the bag. It's pretty, it's pretty full. It's pretty full. I started that bag a little bit after I moved. So I moved around the end of March. Um, I moved around the end of March and so around like April the beginning of April is when I started to like actually keep some of the products that I've been using up so I really love these videos because basically I get a full idea of what the product is because I have completely used it some of the products in here are new some of the products are some stuff that I use like all the time and I know it's probably always going to be in my empty videos from here on out um, but I'm excited to share with you my opinions on some of these products. So if you're interested, then definitely make sure that you keep on watching and give this video a thumbs up. So I'm not going to go in any particular order. I'm just going to grab as I see, and then we're just going to talk about the product. So the first thing I have is my Wetline Extreme Gel. This is basically, this is like a two or three dollar gel. I get it from Target normally, but they also have it at some beauty supply stores, some Walmarts, etc. Um, this is like a staple product for me as you can see I use this thing up um, I really really like this for wash and goes just for like slicking my edges like this is just a really really good gel it doesn't have the best ingredients but honestly I haven't noticed any like severe like damage or anything from using this product and I have completed many of these jars probably at least 10 by now I've been using this for a long time and I personally use this over Eco Styler Gel personally. Next product, this is something that my best friend put me on to. This is the Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter. And this is a product that's only sold at Trader Joe's. Smells so good. This smells like a coconut, like a coconut cupcake or something. I don't know. It just has a really pleasant light coconut scent. It's super thick, but it rubs in very easily and i don't know i just really really like this um it's just you can see it's a really nice texture it actually has lasting moisture and i'm the type of girl like i like to be greased up like i don't i like to use body oil I feel like you know they give me a little bit more moisture so sometimes i'm a little bit skeptical about trying like random body butters because i feel like they might not be moisturizing enough for me but this honestly does and the smell smells so good I have this coconut body oil that I like to use and like a coconut like rollerball fragrance oil. When I mix all three together, it's so good. So I really like this and I'll definitely purchase this again. Next, we have a rose hip oil. This is just one that I bought from like Marshalls or something a while ago. I've had it for a good amount of time. I would say probably at least eight months. And I noticed it started feeling a little bit grainy. I don't know if it was because of what I was using it with or if maybe I got something in here. I don't know, but I just recently repurchased a different rosehip oil. So I'm just gonna get rid of this because there's not much left in here anyways. And since it was from Marshalls, even though I did make sure that it wasn't used and that the package was closed and blah, 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 I still just feel a little bit better about buying some skincare products like straight from the store so I can make sure that they're actually fresh. So yeah. Next we have my my babes, my babies. <laughs> this is okay, so since April I finished two Castile soaps. I finished the whole bottle. I have the rose scent and then I also have the citrus scent, which is my favorite. Um I've been using these for years. I literally recommend these to everybody. This is my favorite body wash. It just gets my body so clean like when i get in the shower the first thing that i want to do before i put on a scrub before i do this before i do that i just want to get my body clean and this does this i've noticed such an improvement in like my skin like my texture my tone all that stuff with just making sure that i have a really really clean body so i will continue to purchase these forever like i'm already i've already bought another one and this is just this is just it so whenever you see me doing uh favorites videos or like empties videos this will always be in it 
I said what I said. Okay, this is another product that I picked up from Marshalls like one day while I was just shopping. This is called the Smooth Me Up or Smooth On Up Buttery Salt Scrub. This was okay. It smells really, really good. I don't know it just has a really like if this was a perfume i would buy it it just smells like the beach like just like a little tropical but still like warm i don't know it smells really really good i liked it a lot i don't think that i'll ever see this again because like i said sometimes you buy something at marshall's you really like it and you're never able to find it again but if i see this again i would buy it again but if i don't then it was kind of forgettable if that makes sense i have the talia wajid curly curl cream um i really like this product as you can see it's empty and it's all dried up now I like this product mixed with my Wetline Extreme Gel for like a pop-in moisturized wash and go. But this is also good for just re-moisturizing your hair. It honestly does do a good job at like kind of slicking my hair down and just making it a little bit more like manageable in a way. So I really like this product and I've emptied out multiple of these. This is, I bought this so many times already. So yep, she's here to stay. Next, another hair product. This is the Carol's Daughter Wash Day Lip Gloss. <laughs> Drink some water. I'm getting too excited. Okay, anyways. So this is the Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight Jelly to Cream Conditioner. I really like this. I think it was, this was around $10. I like the smell of it. Um, It kind of has like a jelly type of texture like it says. Oh, let me, let me hold this better. It kind of has like a little bit of like a jelly type of texture and then once you add water to it it turns into like a lightweight cream conditioner i use this more so for like a pre-shampoo conditioner so say if my hair is in a wash and go state i don't like to detangle before i get in the shower because i feel like i'm gonna get a lot of breakage that way so sometimes i like to just get in the shower rinse out the product go in with a lightweight conditioner and detangle so that way i could just easily shampoo so that's what I use this for, more of like a pre-shampoo, like detangler. Um, it does make my hair very soft. I would buy this again, like say if it was on sale or something like that, because for that reason, it did work well, but it wasn't any type of moisture that like blew me away where I was like, oh my gosh, like this is gonna be a staple. Like it's decent. It does what it needs to do. It has good moisture. It also has good slip. So I'm able to detangle my hair properly without, you know, breakage. But like I said, it wasn't anything where I was like, oh my God, like, no, it was just okay. Next, okay, so this is the Camille Rose Algae Renew Deep Conditioning Mask with Cocoa and Mango Seed Butter. Um, this is a vitamin packed moisturizing and strengthening treatment infused with blue green algae. So this is basically a deep conditioning mask that has vitamins and it has supposed to be like strengthening and moisturizing this smells first of all so freaking good i don't know it smells like a minty like chocolate but still like baked goods i don't know all of camille's rose all of camille rose products smell so good so this is no different this is no exception this is like 22 dollars and when I bought it, I was like, you know what? Let me treat myself. Let me get myself a little something, something, you know? And I do really like this, especially if I put it on, you know, make sure I really work it through my hair, put a cap on, put some heat. Oh my gosh, this makes my hair feel so just like juicy, moisturized, strong, smells so good, super buttery, awesome definition. Like this is really, really good, but I don't know if this is something that I'm gonna keep in my rotation because it is so expensive. And I only got like, I think I used this maybe four times, but I think more realistically, I used it three times, maybe four. So for that price, like why is it $22? It is good, like I said, if I see it on sale or if I just wanna, you know, get myself just a little something nice, then I will purchase this again because it is really, really good and it smells awesome but it's just a lot of money to spend. You know what I mean? $22, Camille? Camille, 22, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, let's keep it rolling. This is the African Pride Moisture Miracle Heat Activated Mask. Um, this mask is an affordable option. It does have a really strong smith, 
scent. Anyways, I feel like this does give me good moisture, good definition. I don't know, like I said, this wasn't really mem memorable to me. If I just need a quick, you know, deep conditioner, I don't wanna think about it too hard. This is only like $5, so I would buy this again, but it's not like blowing my socks off or anything like that. I have two of the Olay Rinse Off Body Conditioners. This one is the one with retinol, and then I also have the one with shea butter. And I really, really love these. And like I said, this is probably gonna be one of those products that you're gonna constantly see in my entry videos. This really gives me good moisture. And I prefer to use these on days where like I had a kind of a long day. I still wanna, like I said, get in the shower, make sure my body is clean, make sure my body is moisturized. But I know that I'm not really in the mood to be like rubbing on a thick body butter. And then like, you know, you know, doing all that stuff. Sometimes I just wanna get in the shower and get out. So on those days, that's what I use this for. Um, because this does actually give me lasting moisture. Like when I put this on at night and I wake up the next morning, my skin still smells really good and it still is very moisturized until I take another shower. So I love these, they're only like $5 and I feel like they're worth it. I get probably like six or seven uses out of each one of these. I feel like the Shea Butter one is definitely my favorite. I've tried the retinol one and the coconut oil one and this one so far gives me the best moisture. Then the retinol is number two and then the last one is coconut oil. I feel like the coconut oil didn't even do anything. It was just like literally rinsing all the way off. So yeah, just a little side note. I tried a sample of the Camille Reels Curl Love um, moisture milk leave-in. This is really, really bomb. And I'm almost finished with the um, coconut water one that she came out with. And I actually just bought the full bottle of that. But I wanted to try a sample before I bought the full bottle of the Curl Love. And this was also really, really good. Gave me an amazing wash and go. Every product that I have purchased from Camille Rose is just so good. It gives me so much moisture, so much slip, so much definition. Just It just makes my hair feel so good. And I noticed my hair has been growing a lot with using Camille Rose products. So I'm gonna definitely pick up the full size of this. Now I have two coconut co-washes from As I Am. I have the old packaging one and the new packaging one. Um, I also have already re-upped on this. And I also realized that my Walmart carries like the big bottle of this with the pump. So next time I purchase it, I'm definitely gonna get the big bottle because I always go through these especially when i'm like you know on my active my, on my active shit you know i'm going to the gym a lot and stuff and i'm noticing that i'm wetting my hair a lot more this is such a perfect product just like if you want to rinse out your hair if you get if it got sweaty or if it got dirty or just whatever but you don't necessarily want to do like a full shampoo then a deep condition then all of that like you just want to get in rinse your hair out get it nice and clean and soft and go on with your day this is literally perfect and this saves me on days where you know i get up go to the gym want to wash my hair but i have to go to work but i don't want my wash day to be forever this is also really really good for detangling i feel like this is perfect when i'm just you know take a wide tooth comb wash you know put it through my hair add water finger to tangle and then go with the wide tooth comb and then you're literally done like all you have to do is just get off the shower and move on with your day like awesome love these Ugh. I'm getting the cramp in my leg. So this is something that I mentioned in my last uh, self-care video. This is the Good Wipes Down There Wipes. I finished a whole box of these and I really like these. These are perfect for like when I'm on my period and I just wanna have some wipes to take with me on the go. These are perfect. I just slip these in my pocket, in my wallet, in my bag, anywhere. These are perfect and I never get any type of irritation or anything from these. They're just really good and I like that they are flushable so they're easy to use, you know. I have two Curology products. I have the cleanser and I also have the moisturizer. I like both of these. I've been using Curology for about a year now actually and I really personally like the products. I think they're good. I'm gonna cancel my subscription pretty soon but if you guys want a whole in-depth video about my journey using Curology, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know because I can do a whole in-depth video about these. Um, overall review, the cleanser is really good. It's just very basic. It just is a cleanser. It cleanses your skin. It gets off all the makeup, dirt, impurities. It doesn't dry me out. It's just very simple and basic. And whenever I just wanna quickly just cleanse my face, <laughs> this is just what I use. So as well as the moisturizer, I have 
the rich version they also have a light version um, I personally have been using the rich my whole time using Curology and I also really like this if I just want to moisturize my face this is the moisturizer that I use. I have the As I Am Classic Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I bought this because it was on sale and I seen a few people talking about it saying that they really, really liked it. So I wanted to give it a try. Um, I feel like it was okay. It did give my hair moisture, did give it slip. I prefer to use this while I was in the shower, but if I was gonna buy this or the Camille Rose Coral Love, I'd rather buy the Camille Rose because that one like, really gave me moisture that I noticed and this just kind of got the job done so it was okay though this is the Aunt Jackie's Nourish My Hair Flaxseed in Manoy Oil um I really like this oil I would definitely purchase this again it smells really really good and whenever I had this in my hair people would compliment me and tell me that my hair smells really good um this is more of a thick like fatty type of oil but this was my favorite to use whenever I had a wash and go and I wanted to like stretch it out with my blow dryer. I would apply this oil to my hair and it would really make my hair very soft, shiny, stretch it out. And I really liked it. And I feel like this was also something that helped me with my hair growth as well. Now, y'all, I have a, I use a lot of shit. I use a lot of stuff. Next, this is the Simple Truth Whipped Scrub. And this has, it says it has extra scrub. Um, I don't know what they're talking about with that, but I bought this from Kroger. I bought this from Kroger um, on a whim when I wanted to do like a pedicure, like an at-home pedicure. This was like $5 and this scrub is actually really, really good and I have not found it at any other Kroger since that time. So if I ever find this again, I will definitely buy it. This makes my feet and my body so freaking soft. Like the Dead Sea Salt, Dead Sea Mud, and the sea salt in this you can really feel like your body just like feels so clean and soft like you feel like you have a new body when you get out the shower this is a little bit messy but like i said the results are personally worth it for me and i also really like to use it for like an at-home pedicure so if you see this at kroger definitely give it a try and it's literally i don't think it was any more than six dollars okay so the next empty that i have is the urban skin Rack complexion protection moisturizer i personally really really like this product this was actually one of my favorite sunscreens that i ever tried and i would definitely purchase this again right now i'm using the black girl sunscreen and i'm honestly just like i can't wait to finish it up so that i could just repurchase this again because i like this a lot better it's a lot more lightweight especially for the summertime so if you want to support a black owned brand pick this up at target all right y'all i'm tired of talking just i finished an elf rider dye lip balm this is probably going to be another product that you're always going to see in my empties videos because this is really good i like to keep one in my bag and in my bathroom so at night this is like a perfect like this feels like a overnight lip mask but it's just so moisturizing so i don't know i just really like the way it makes my lips look and feel so love this i also finished a whole mini size of the um kvd uh saint perfume i kept this in my car and it smells good it's nothing that is like very memorable it just smells like a smell that you've probably smelled before so i i'm happy that i got the travel size because i would not purchase the entire perfume of this but like i said it was good to just like have in my bag or have in my car just for something quick if i just wanted a quick you know a little spritz if i was going somewhere if i just wanted to refresh because it meshes well with other things but that's because this just doesn't really smell like anything memorable you know what i mean next i finished another one of these moisturizers this is the the uh blah, blah, blah. this is the soap and glory daily smooth indulgent body butter i really like this a lot i also have the righteous butter right now which i'm almost finished with um i personally like the righteous butter a little bit more but i still like this and i would use it again oof the sun is coming out now the lighting has been kind of all over the place in this video but that's okay all right guys we're almost at the end i finished a cream of nature pure honey smoothing and frizz control hair mask 
um i just was at the beauty supply store and i needed to try like a, i just needed a deep conditioner for my wash day that i was doing and i didn't want to think about it too hard so i just grabbed this and it was good it was really moisturizing smelled really really good um it is better when you apply heat but i did use this as like a quick deep conditioner in the shower and it worked also well for that um what i purchased this again for the same reason like if i was just going i just needed a deep conditioner i didn't want to think about it i would definitely grab this but there have i have used better deep conditioners y'all i hope my hair is not burning from this camera i finished a elf happy hydration face cream this was okay i personally like the holy hydration one better i don't really know what the big difference is between the two like in terms of their descriptions but i feel like the holy hydration one just gave me a little bit more moisture this just kind of it was just eh, like it was okay uh oh we on the last product <laughs> last product guys this is the laneige water bank moisture cream um i got this for my sephora birthday gift this year it came like in a little kit with the other laneige products i actually really really like this and i was kind of blown away i was like ooh, i kind of like this but i don't think i would spend the money on it because this feels exactly like the neutrogena uh cream or cream water gel um and it's like literally a fraction of the price so if i'm craving that kind of moisturizer then i'll just go with the neutrogena over this because it literally felt like the same exact thing it smelled the same performed the same gave me that same like ooh, i really like that juicy like feeling i have one honorable mention i was gonna do like a couple honorable mentions of products that i'm like almost done using but didn't quite make it to this video um but this video is already 25 minutes long so i'm just gonna do the one that i already grabbed um this is the cantu skin therapy nourishing body cream i actually really really like this i was a little bit skeptical i was like cantu the hair products <laughs> they're not really the most you know quenching to my hair you know so i was a little bit skeptical to try this but it actually smells really really good it says it has notes of orange shea and vanilla I personally prefer to use this during the day so when I take a shower in the morning I like to use this because it's just really really light it smells really good on its own but I feel like this pairs well with like any perfume because it's just very light neutral but still gives a little bit of that like play factor I don't know I really like the smell of this actually like if I could smell if I could find a perfume that smelled like this I would really like that <laughs> but yeah overall I would purchase this again when I run out okay guys that is the end of my video all of my empty products now i'm finally going to be throwing this away and restarting adding in a whole bunch of new empties and also this is really really fun to do especially for people like me who's a you know shopaholic as some people like to say <laughs> um i personally love to try out and test out new products and you know i feel like this was a really good way for me to be motivated to actually use up my stuff that i buy which i do do but i feel like i was like ooh, i want to finish this up like i want to add this into my you know my little stash so i feel like it would be something you know a little fun project to do collect all your empties so like once i see all the stuff i used up it's really gratifying so anyways this is definitely filled with some new stuff some old favorites definitely stay tuned subscribe to my channel put on the post notification bell so that whenever i make a new video you will be notified and i will see y'all in my next one bye